Hey everybody, you're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brotherson. You made it. Today we're going to be putting forks back on our dirt bike and talking about one of the ways that you can do this and make sure everything is aligned properly. Stick around. So in today's video, we're showing how to put your forks in the tubes and how to install your front wheel and make sure that everything is in perfect alignment. Now, I'm not a professional mechanic, but these are some of the tips and tricks that I have learned over the years talking with mechanics and then just doing it myself. So as with everything in life, there's more than one way to skin a cat or to do a job. That, but this is one way that I have found that works really well to make sure that you can do this. Take your front tire on and off repeatedly, repeatedly and also have a proper alignment with your forks in the tubes. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Just so you know though, this is the pro this is the bike, one of the bikes that I'll be giving away in March. On March 1st, if you're watching, March 1st through April 30th, there will be a sweepstakes on this bike. All you have to do to enter to win the bike is go over to dirtbikechannel.com during that time and I have all the details over there on how you could go home with this bike. Let's get into the video. Okay, now we're ready to install our forks up in the triple clamps. Now, a couple things to note, you wanna make sure that all the, all the surfaces are clean on the triple clamps, on the inside of them, and on your fork, which they should be. And then if for whatever reason, if the fork doesn't slide up in here really easily, you may have to check, you may have to loosen your triple clamp um, pinch bolt up here on your bike and possibly even loosen the, the head bolt up here. It's usually like a 17 millimeter bolt, which is, is uh, affecting the preload on your, on your head bearing. You might need to loosen those so that the two triple clamps can move independently of one another so that they can, they can move back side to side that way. And that way you can get everything back into alignment. I've seen that happen before. Anyway, this should just go, just slide right up in. If you get everything out of the way and it slides up there. Now, when you get, when you, you should check your, your manual uh, to see how high that you should have your forks in the triple, up out of the top of the triple clamp. On this one, after I got it back from Craft Moto, they were saying that I wanted to be about five millimeters. Five millimeters is just a touch more than three pennies. So three pennies with my calipers is about 4.3 millimeters and four pennies was just about 5.6 millimeters. So I'm going, to go just about a penny, three and a half pennies. And that ends up being just basically pretty much the second line on these forks. And that's how I'm going to install this. So I'm going to go ahead and just, just tighten down these pinch bolts on my top triple clamp just enough so that, it, so that it doesn't fall out, right? We're gonna torque these here in just a minute but I'm not ready to torque them yet. I just wanna, I just wanna snug those up so that my triple clamp, or so that my fork doesn't fall out of the clamps. And I'll do the same thing on this other side. And again, if everything is lined up properly, this will go in without a problem, just like that. And you've gotta, you wanna line them up so that, you know, so that uh, the fork your clickers are in the right spots, right? So I'm gonna go about right there. Probably gonna change that other one just a touch. But I just wanted to see if I'm putting this in the same spot, just kind of verify that you've got the forks at the same height in the clamps. And you can see that here. That looks pretty close. So now I'm going to, if that doesn't drop out. Just snug these up just a touch, just like that, so they don't fall out. Okay, so here's how we're gonna make sure that these things are aligned. Okay, here's a really slick way to tell if uh, your forks have proper alignment. So I'm just gonna clean off uh, my axle and make sure that um, these lugs here are clean inside. They are. Okay, good. Now. I'm gonna take and put my axle through here and it should install really, really nicely and it should be able to rotate freely and move in and out. And that way I know that my, my uh, triple, or <laughs> my forks are in alignment up on the top. I've done a very good job of aligning them as far as up and down because this can go and slide through really easily side to side and it can spin really freely here so I know I'm good to go. At this point, I'm gonna be able to torque my triple clamps down with a torque wrench. Let's look at that. I've said this before, but I think it bears, it bears repeating. Anytime that you have a part 
where it shows you the actual torque spec right on the actual part, it's probably a good idea for you to torque it. And I don't know of anywhere else on the bike where it's probably more important for you to torque to a proper torque spec than on your triple clamp. So I've got this set to, uh, fit, I've got my torque wrench set to 15 Newton meters and it's right there on one side. Do it again. There it is. I'm gonna adjust this so that it shows me. There we go. There we go. And then up on the top, it's actually 17 Newton meters on this particular bike. So I'm gonna go up to 17 Newton meters. Be ready to go. And I'll go to 17 Newton meters here on the top. It's not very tight. And you don't want these things to be over tightened. Because if, you, if, if this is over tightened, especially down here, that can make it a little bit more sticky and make the fork not function properly. There's 17. 17. Okay, 17 on the top, 15 on the bottom. I'm gonna do that to the other side now off camera and then we'll move to the next step. Okay, now I'm gonna show you my methodology for putting, for installing the wheel and then making sure that this, that your forks are in alignment. So I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna tighten down the non-brake side first. And the only reason I'm really doing this is to just pinch that axle so that now I can take my 17 millimeter wrench or socket, whichever you're using, and I can tighten my axle nut. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna torque this down to the recommended torque spec, which is right there. I've got my arm <laughs> calibrated for that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the brake side clamp, okay? And loosen that side down. It'll make more sense in a minute because we want this to be able to free float, which I'm gonna get a different shot of that to show you. There you go, torque this down on this side, down to spec. Okay, just like that. Got my arm calibrated to the exact spec in the manual. Okay, the whole idea here is to make sure that our fork stays in alignment and you can see how this can float just a little bit. You can see how if I push it, it's trying to return back to its natural position. You don't want this bound up. You don't want to tighten it up where it's in a bind because that, that puts your suspension in a bind. So this is floating really well. One of the ways that you can do this is you can kind of move it a little bit and then spin your tire and then hit your brake. And you'll notice that popped right back into the spot that it keeps going. Cause see how it's, see how I've kind of moved it over and it's bound just a little bit. So it's, it's about, I don't know, three or four millimeters away from, from the edge of the bolt. I'll spin the tire and then I'll go boom and I'll just bump the uh, pump the brake and stop the wheel and it slides right back over to the spot where it's naturally, where it naturally floats. You can do this by taking your bike off the stand and rolling it forward and boom and hitting the brake. Oh, or you can just kind of do this. Uh, if you, you want to stop it really fast with the front brake like that. And now it's in, it's in the position where it's supposed to be and it's in alignment. And then I'll go ahead and I'll torque it down in that spot right there. So that's just the thing is you want to make sure that your, your forks are not bound up because you, because you can screw up a lot of things just by having this bound up and having it not in alignment as far as with the, with the axle and the triple clamps and everything. Well, thanks for watching guys. This has been a fun video to make. I hope you learned something. If you want to support dirt bike channel, there's a few ways you can do it. You can go to my parts links, which are also, which are down in the description or at dirtbikechannel.com. You'll find them there. I've got links to all sorts of different things. Uh, there's Patreon where you can do a monthly tip amount. Um, you can also just donate straight to the show. And also you can participate in any of those dirt bike sweepstakes as they come up again. I've got one coming up here on March 1st through April 30th. You have a chance to enter to win two different bikes. This Husky that we've seen here in today's video and a Honda CR250R. So until next time, I hope you guys have a good day.